Uh, friends. All right. So um, I'm kind of excited right now because I did something I don't usually do and I mixed some of my own colors. This was a turquoise, but I wanted it a little true, more turquoisey. So I added a touch of green and a touch of white into it. I've got some, um, I went to Hobby Lobby today. I bought some dollar, <laughs> dollar and rowney metallic blue. So that's right there. Got some Paracrete Green because it's awesome. Some Rushing Stream Blue by Bear because it's awesome. And then this is, um, what is this one? This one is Blue, Award Blue mixed with some Payne's Gray to give it more of a steel blue. And what I'm trying to do is get some a lot of blues and a lot of green. Well, not a lot of green, some green in there. And it's gonna be fun. Okay, here's the thing. We're gonna do it on a back, black background. And so what I'm thinking we're gonna end up with is more of like when you're really deep in the ocean and you look up. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so we'll see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna start with the float troll. All right, so there that bad boy is, and my giant strainer. Not entirely sure how much I want or need, so I'm just gonna pour a ton, and then pour the rest that I don't need back into the bottle. All right, so I am working on using other pouring mediums. Trying to get together what I what I think I should know before I try them, and all those other stuff. But first, the best people ever list. So this is current to when I'm shooting it, um, and so if your name is not on here yet, I've shot this video, and um, you will get on as soon as I see it. Um, and if I miss your name, hit me up, email me, um, and then um, I'll get you on there right away. All right, guys, so back to the painting. So we got a float draw here, and for most of these, I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio, although the texture is different on some of them because I used a mix of uh, apple bottom paints, apple barrel, but apple bottom is way better. Um, apple barrel paints, this Dollar and Rowney, Artist Loft, and House Paint, Bear and Valspar. So, um, we're really just going every which direction on the type of paint today. And I'm hoping for some interesting interactions with it. I'm, I would love to see something creative that we haven't come together with yet, but there's so many paints here that I probably would never figure it out. All right, here's that metallic blue. This metallic blue is going to need more pouring medium here. And the turquoise is beautiful, beautiful turquoise. I love it. What was this? Oh, I didn't see any color. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's the blue. It's the metallic blue. All right, so we'll get to mixing these guys. And, uh, oh, yeah, my black. I need some Floetrol on my black, too. Uh, yep, one to one. All right, so let's get to mixing. All right. Today was a crazy day. So I got to work and um, I've only been so dehydrated that I just really could not handle it a couple times. And that was today. I didn't drink or anything. I don't drink in general, but yeah, I just so dehydrated that I just had to get some water, drink it, and then lay down. It was crazy. So anyway, after that day, doing some art stuff to kind of, uh, oh, beautiful. I love that color. Doing some art stuff to kind of, I know, un mess up the day. So this is that uh, apple <laughs> apple barrel 
a ward blue with Payne's gray in it. And the Payne's gate gray is from Dollar and Rowney. And see, so this is the artist type paint and we see how much it drips. Not even enough, not quite even close. Um, put a little bit more Floetrol in it and then I will also add water. Um, but back to the thing we were talking about earlier, lots of people have asked for, because they can't get it in their area. Actually, I would also love to know what area can you not get Floetrol in? Like, do I need to start? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to start up a store. That's Emery's jig. But, yeah. So this is getting better. <laughs> not by much. We'll add water into it. I've already added enough uh, Floetrol. But what type of places are you guys in that you that you cannot find Floetrol? I would love to know so I can just get a a better idea on what we're looking at, what we're looking for, uh, things like that. So I have not run out of my tongue depressors. These are the small craft sticks I got from the dollar store when I first started. And I just realized that, you know what, if I don't use them up, they'll never get used. So even that's a little thick. We're going to have to add water into each one of these. But, um, yeah, if I didn't use them, they're never going to go away, and I want them to go away permanently, so... I really like those big old giant tongue depressors. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I love that. It's the... I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's that awesome metallic sheen in there. Super nice. Really like it. Alright, so we got three different blues, one green, and a black. Oh, four different blues. Ta-da, forgot about this one. This is the Rushing Stream. This is a bear house paint, and uh, so it, it'll be much easier to mix. I'm gonna have to do more than one painting off this. I'm using the smaller canvas again. This is an eight by 10. So I've got way, 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 way too much paint right here. Okay, mixed, mixed, mixed. Mixed. Oops, sorry, I just head butted you. I'm ever so sorry. And then our black. This is just the off-the-shelf black. Actually, one of the really cool things about this off-the-shelf black is it covers amazing. It's really thick right out. It almost feels like an artist-type paint. Probably student level, but... Yeah, so get that nice and mixed up. Oh, that's nice. All right. Chunk. Water. No, you did. Water only. There we are. Excellent. We will put some water in each of these thicker ones here. And if you're from England, I hope that I'm not offending you with my terrible English accent. There we go. All right, getting this nice mixed up. What in the world? Is this really still that thick? It really is. Well, like I was just saying, it's a thicker paint.
Much better. I don't know if you can tell because it's black and... Well, much better not. Still not there yet. We're almost there yet. Okay, so this doesn't need to be the perfect consistency though, because here's the thing. We're not trying to um, mix our other paints into this black. What we're gonna do is mix the blues first, blues and the greens, and then pour them in, um, then do the flip cup, and then pour them around the cup, pour this around the cup. So, wonderful, very good. Very good. All right. All right. Beautiful. Getting closer to the pour time. There on the the blue and the Payne's gray here. We're almost here though. You know what? I'm gonna put a link in the description. Fast forward to the good stuff. And last but not least, our more turquoisey turquoise. Because I used the color that said turquoise, but it wasn't turquoisey enough. So we turquoise this up in this piece. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Let's get another cup. And we shall dust it with silicone. because That's what I do, and I like it, and it's fun. Okay. There we go. And I am going to add a touch of silicone to each one of these. Uh, no more than two drops since we have so many of um, so many of these paint cups here. No more than two for me. I mean, if you want to crazy silicone it up, you crazy silicone it up. I don't need to put it in the black. Okay. I already did a little bit, but I have to be good. All right. Mix a touch, a touch, a touch. There's so many colors. Actually, I'm gonna be really excited to see what this does here. And people are just opening up the garage like nothing might be happening here. And I put you. All right, so here we go. Let's start mixing it up in our cup. Um, let's just alternate all the way through, so. Oh, here, let me get it on camera. And then some of that turquoise in this. Dude, seriously? Stop! No more! Okay, I hit the lock button. Maybe somebody will get the clue that it's not gonna open. All right. <laughs> oh, my kids. All right, get some of this Russian stream rushing in our cup here. And our metallic blue. And 
our awesome, crazy, fun, bright, super cool parakeet green. And is that all of them? Feels like it, huh? Okay, that was all of them. All right, here we go. Now let's get us some black around this edge here. All right. I'm not entirely sure if that'll do anything. I've seen Anna Osborne do it with white. And she's really cool. I really like her. Um, I really like her stuff too. So, um, yeah, check her out. She's pretty cool. And I'm going to get my torch ready because we're going to have to torch right away because this is a much smaller canvas than I'm used to. So, here we go. Oh, that's look at those some of those are amazing oh, i love it when it does this when it laces with that super dark color up in there oh no that's just beautiful stop let go of my canvas let go let okay there we go Okay, so I was trying to figure out, now why would I clean my canvas in between rounds? I'd clean my workspace of color in between rounds. And this is a fantastic reason why. Because I want to scoop up some of that and put it on my canvas, and I can't. And, uh, yeah, I can't because it's mixed in with the other colors. Um, all right. I'm trying to stretch these cells out while I'm doing it. That's why I'm hitting opposite corners. I'm trying to keep them as round as possible, and I'm trying to get them as large as possible. I'm not entirely sure why. I just think it's a fun thing to do. This totally reminds me of looking up the sun now, especially the way it's hitting in this one general area and... Come on. Well, at least I can do that. Oh, I love this. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was going to get you down so you can see it, but... I could get the painting up so you could see it also. Man, I love this area right here. Oh, 
I love this. Man. Not entirely sure which way would be up, but oh, I still love it. Man. Okay. So I don't cross contaminate my colors between paintings. I'm going to dry my hands off for just a second and then I'll come right, right back. All right. I'm back. Hands are clean. -er. <laughs> um, awesome guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm actually really surprised that what happened here, so this ended up more yellowy. I didn't add any white. In fact, I did just the opposite. I poured all of my, my, uh, I even unyellowed this a bit. I pull, put some blue in this just to pull a little bit of that extra yellowy out, but it still did what it was going to do and turned even more yellow than my yellowest color here. So whatever, that's, it's fun, it's fine. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so um, that's good, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, Y'all the best. Appreciate you. Bye. Oh, and if you like the videos, would you click like and maybe even subscribe and maybe even that uh, dingling bell thingy there. All right, bye. Bye for real this time.